What happened when Anita called security? If you Google my name on YouTube, you get shitheads like this dude. You know, oh, they're worried about something going on. And then she just said to the head of security, well, she's a public figure, she's attacking the audience. Who are making these dumbass videos that just say the same shit over and over again. Good point. And that's why they didn't check us out, they didn't do anything to us, and Anita is now the one abusing the audience. You're a garbage human! No shit! Uh, okay. About what's, ha what's gonna happen. <laughs> Hilarity. Hilarity. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 non non violent gender neutral racially sensitive racially sensitive trans positive l b q g q r m n o p q d plus black and black and brown stripe good uh, uh, yeah pi what yeah and then they got the black and the and the brown stripes too right yeah, that was wrong. I don't know. That's just, yeah. Uh, that's not for us. That's for, uh, yeah, they're, they are. Did you see them swarming earlier? Yeah. There was this guy carrying a table. Oh, I didn't see that one. I, I didn't see that particular swarm. The more attention you give something like harassment, the more certain people feel validated by that very attention. Well, I, I could be wrong, but I think there's someone in the front row that is a notorious harasser of mine that's filming this panel, so I think it's <laughs> important to keep having this conversation. She thinks there's only one. Yeah. <laughs> if you Google my name on YouTube, you get shitheads like this dude who are making these dumbass videos that just say the same shit over and over again. And like, I need to give you attention because you're a garbage human. Whatever, dude. Um, it goes without saying, I think, but I'm going to say it anyway. If you harass anyone on this panel, I'm not going <laughs> to take your question. Question? How important do you think it is to engage with people that genuinely disagree with you, and how would you define this disagreement or criticism? Or how do you define genuine criticism? Um, well, when the criticism, when someone is criticizing me for something and it's uh, something that's valid and not someone directly targeting me because of my gender, then obviously, like, the conversation can be had. That's, that's like, fine. I'm not, I don't have a problem with that at all. Question? If I could, I'd like to ask this question specifically to Anita. Is that okay? I mean, yes. I don't know if I'll answer it. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> I'm just curious. The various things that you've said online over the past few years, do you truly believe them? Okay. Dude, Alright, just like, can we please harassment. remove him from the question line? Because the question That is not harassment, I'm asking. It's a stupid question. question. Can we please remove this question asking the harassment? So I think it's important to keep having this conversation. This isn't a conversation. You're not starting a dialogue. You're just like actually coming to try to disrupt and be bothersome and be and inflame and like be awful. Question. Why do you guys act like only women face harassment online? Yes. I mean, even your language, like, freak out about, like, no, awful and inflammatory. Shit has dumbass, shit has shit, shit, garbage human. Freak out about, like, no. See, you're, you're, just, you're just mocking me. If you you're talk about some community serious harassment, 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 that's not to say that all, no other community is facing harassment. <laughs> See, you're harassing me right now. Can we please remove this question on the line? I don't want people who are, you know, going through something really difficult uh, to not be able to share it because they're afraid to be, like, mocked or judged. Question. I think women are stronger than I think they can they can handle being called a bitch online and not have to. Can we have the next question up, please? Question. Would you say it's kind of fair that, you know, if we spend too much time talking about all the harassment that does occur online, no one's you know, no one's uh, disputing that. But if we spend too much time talking about that, doesn't that kind of take up too much time, take up too much space, and we could be talking about, you know, the positive comments that you guys have received over the years. Wouldn't that be awesome? That you could 
to do it. You have the panel right now, you know? Yeah, but there are like three rows, like full rows of people that are like intimidating. And I don't want to be identified as a victim, and I don't think anyone else on this panel wants to be such. And this is why we're here talking about it. Yeah, but there are like three rows, like full rows of people that are like intimidating. <laughs> next time, maybe next time around, we'll have to div it up a little bit. I'm just, no, you're just like actually coming to try to disrupt and be bothersome and inflammatory. Awful. Shit has dumbass shit has shit shit. Garbage human. Freak out about like no, 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 no. Garbage human. No. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> oh, and he just on the shit list now. <laughs> oh man, I'm just glad we're not being kicked out. I don't like this. Women can't take criticism. I fucking hate that. She shit. wouldn't even define it. That's what's making me so angry. Having a vagina doesn't make you an automatic victim, and perpetuating that steals your humanity from you. You cannot progress as a human being mm -hmm. if you are told that every criticism of you is an attack. It's a fucking criticism. Take it like a woman and handle your shit. I almost fucking killed. I, I, was just, gonna, I just wanted to hit her. She called Carl a garbage human being. This is somebody who took time super internet famous but took the time to come to my channel at 1100 subscribers and actually nurture me not because I'm a woman but because I had good arguments I didn't have a good way of forming them what did he do took the fucking time to teach to I know that was pretty comfort egregious. that to, it is so infuriating to say that someone is a worthless human being because he instills people with their own humanity, with their own self-determination to achieve the things that they want to, and at the same time, preaches victimhood, which steals your humanity from you, and say that, that he's a bad person for that. She is the worst kind of person. She is the kind of person who perpetuates everything that will steal from you all of who you are. It will be gone because of people like her who tell you you are nothing but a victim. You're a victim if you choose to be, or you're a victor if you choose to be. And it's your choice. And what pisses me off is they stopped everything before a woman on YouTube could say anything about being a woman on YouTube. I'm really disappointed that they cut it so short. What I wanted to ask, what was there? I had more. What was your question you were gonna ask? Yeah. I saw you had to leave. <laughs> But if they do, I wanted to know what they thought of uh, the growing amount of women in this community because they're all about women and not traditional. I don't think they want us in this community. But I have my YouTube career has been nurtured by these people that they call sexist, they call misogynist. They have taken time. Look at Dave. He's taken time to help me grow to help me form this Sorry, and misogynist in question. Do you have any comments? What are we gonna ask? Oh, I wasn't gonna ask anything. Oh, she's gonna rant. She was gonna get some for me. But she's on the shit list now. That's fine. Anita, I'm gonna make a video about you, honey. It's coming. <laughs> Here's what happened. So Anita comes out. Wait, 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 give us context. Alright, so we're at the Yeah, we were. We're at the talk. I think it was like women <laughs> on the internet. And it's basically about harassment at the end of the day. So a bunch of feminists, one of them, Anita, about four, no, five women. They come up on the stage. And we're all sitting in a block, three rows of shitlords, right? Various anti-feminist YouTubers and MRAs and all those other white supremacists, Nazi, patriarchy, fascist assholes. And where were you situated? I was in the front row, right next to Computing Forever and uh, my wife and then like Chris Reagan, right? And then you. Well, anyway, so Anita comes out and she sits down. She, it hasn't sunk in yet. She hasn't realized that we're there. I don't really know if she's gonna notice, but I figure she would. So they, the, the blonde woman starts to like intro everybody and like basically introduce what the panel is going to be about and stuff. And while that's going on, Anita starts scanning the crowd as anybody would if they're on the stage. And I noticed that she notices someone, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming it was Sargon. Her pupils dilated like they would, like she immediately knew something was wrong. And I am not kidding. She immediately went to her phone and started doing this shit. And I knew 
that she was either texting someone, like maybe someone in the building, or she was tweeting about it because she did not look happy. The, the mood of the whole thing, just like it went down and we didn't do anything. We just sat there. That was the really funny thing about it. But um, Anita's attitude changed. The, the entire panel changed. And not only that, but the funny thing is this, the other women on the panel did not know who we were and their mood was not affected until Anita shared that information with all of them and all of a sudden all the feminists on the panel were worried about us and they called security and you know these extra guards came out they didn't do anything because they didn't really have authority to do so but they surrounded they made a perimeter around our section it was crazy so that's basically the story I just saw when Anita realized who was there then she it, it affected her emotionally and then she told it shared that information with her co-panelists somehow she whispered it to the girls next They're to her sweet. yeah and then their mood was all fucked up it was, it's just it's like this victimhood thing is just fucking infectious what happened when anita called security because that's just so fucking satisfying oh, um they um as far i've heard this third hand so i i, I would need to confirm it but um apparently um they they essentially said uh, it was uh, Naomi who spoke to them, and she said that uh, they had said that, you know, oh, they're worried about something going on, and then she had just said to the head of security, well, she's a public figure, she's attacking the audience, and she should be able to endure that, you know, she should be able to take it, and they were like, you know, that's a good point. And that's why they didn't check us out, they didn't do anything to us, and Anita is now the one abusing the audience. If you Google my name on YouTube, you get shitheads like this dude who are making these dumbass videos that just say the same shit over and over again. And like, I need to give you attention because you're a garbage human. I'm Crazy Hair Naomi. Um, that's my handle on Twitter. And uh, yeah, I make videos about things that piss me off and that I really don't want to talk to my friends about because they hate it. They don't want to hear about it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, um, so after the, the thing, I don't know if anybody's told you this already, but uh, the head of security was there because uh, Anita had texted security saying she felt unsafe. And uh, the head of security had told us that she said that um, the three rows of shitlords in the front row made her feel unsafe and that it was an active act of aggression as far as she was concerned. So that's why three extra security guards showed up. And uh, yeah, uh, the security lady asked us if we could please sit in the back so Anita doesn't have to see us in the next few panels she's on. And then I said to the security lady uh, that Anita is a performer and it's her duty as a professional to not react to people in the crowd when they have said nothing to her. And uh, the security lady agreed and uh, said I had a good point and that was that. Was that. She asked us to sit in yes. the back. She asked us, because we're black and have no rights, to go sit in the back. Okay, so where was Francesca Ramsey? She was probably sitting three or four rows behind the Worskis. The, uh... Like the, the Worski brothers. She was sitting like that, right? Three or four rows from us. So, um, someone I asked that. during the women yeah. online Q&A why yeah, the panel acts like women only like women face harassment. Of, like, taking care of themselves. And then, That's I can't believe a dude asserted that women are strong enough to deal with being called a bitch online during the Q&A. <laughs> and then, uh, on Joey Salads um, is a genius of our time, please show respect. She was probably like bitching at him because of the question he asked, and she said, uh, making fake prank videos that rely on racist stereotypes doesn't make you a genius. Like, she's... She's twitching hard, man. Yeah. <laughs> Tweeting during the panel. She's uh, she she she, she got triggered. <laughs> the Kekistanis. The Kekistanis are being discriminated against. Um, this wanna... is. Oh, I'm sorry. But we refuse to take it. We, <laughs> we're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. <laughs> I'm a bad singer. <laughs> Thanks. That was the greatest thing we've ever done ever. I don't care. That was the greatest fucking thing. I'm happy it was in real we time didn't do in real anything life. And it was the greatest thing we've ever Best done. Best troll ever.